Some companions died, often in service to the doctor's goals. Katerina, TV, The Traitors, and Sarah Kingdom, TV, The Destruction of Time, both died to prevent the Daleks obtaining Tyrannium. Adric sacrificed himself trying to stop a prehistoric Cyberman invasion of Earth. TV, Earth Shock. Roz Forrester died in battle. Pros, so vile a sin. Lucy Miller and Tamsin Drew were both killed whilst defeating the Dalek Time Controller's invasion of Earth in the late 22nd century. Audio, to the death, Astrid Peth died killing Max Capricorn. Her atoms were left to travel the universe. Without her sacrifice, the Tenth Doctor would not have regained control of the Titanic, nor prevented it from having a costly collision into Buckingham Palace. TV, Voyage of the Damned, Turn Left, Cinder, who was briefly a companion of the War Doctor, sacrificed her life to save the Doctor when the time Lord Carlax tried to kill him under orders from Rassilon. It was for fear of this highly probable eventuality of a companion's death that the War Doctor was reluctant to let a companion join him during his years of fighting in the last Great Time War. He gave Cinder a proper burial and promised to end the Time War to honor her sacrifice. Pros, Engines of War. Three unusual cases were those of Perry Brown, Ace and River Song. Perry was killed by King Arcanos on Thoros Beta, whilst her body was being subjected to Crozier's troubling body-swapping experimentations. For a time, the Sixth Doctor believed Perry had died. At the conclusion of his second major trial by the Time Lords, however, the Inquisitor revealed Perry's death had likely been a trick of the Valyard. The Inquisitor showed the Doctor that Perry, far from being killed by Arcanos, had, in fact, married him. TV, Mind Warp. However, at a later date, the Time Lords revealed their meddling with Perry's time streams had resulted in multiple versions of Perry running around the cosmos. One of these Paris had been killed by Arcanos, as the Doctor originally believed. Audio. Perry and the Piskin Paradox. Like Perry, Ace died young according to two accounts, but not others. According to one, she died while using Nitro-9 against parasitic beings known as the Lobri. Her sacrifice saved the lives of Sarah Jane, Susan, Perry and the Seventh Doctor. Comic. Round Zero. In another account she was killed by George Lim, only to be replaced by a divergent version of herself, who continued to travel with the Doctor and who only had superficial differences from her other self. Pros, loving the alien. Furthermore, according to other accounts, she lived to a much older age, at least into her late 30s and 50s. Pros, set piece, at childhood's end, et al. River Song died physically when she linked her mind into the Cal computer during the doctor's first meeting with her, from his perspective. From hers, it was the last of many following an unspecified period of time as his companion. TV, Forest of the Dead, unknown to the tenth doctor. River was part-time lord due to having been conceived on board the TARDIS by the Doctor's future companions Amy Pond and Rory Williams, but had given up her future regenerations to save the eleventh Doctor's life. TV. A good man goes to war. Let's kill Hitler. The Doctor, therefore, proceeded with his timeline knowing how River would one day die. He gave her a sonic screwdriver specially designed to save her mental patterns at the moment of her death in the library. TV. The Husbands of River Song. This allowed the earlier Tenth Doctor to upload River into Cal's immense memory bank, allowing her to live on in the computer. TV, Forest of the Dead. She later managed to somehow link herself into a psychic conference call, from inside Cal even as a data ghost to aid the Doctor one last time on Trenzalore before fading forever after he finally said goodbye to her. TV, the name of the Doctor, Chameleon, an android companion was destroyed by the Fifth Doctor in an act of mercy per Chameleon's own request after it was taken over by the Tremors Master. TV, Planet of Fire. Clara Oswald, a companion of the Eleventh and Twelfth Doctors, sacrificed herself for Riggsy, whom she had only met once before. She was killed by a quantum shade after saying goodbye to the Time Lord, with the Doctor ultimately blaming Ashildar for her death. TV, Face the Raven. The Twelfth Doctor extracted her from her time stream moments before her death using Time Lord technology, although she was frozen in between one heartbeat and her last. He realized that they couldn't continue traveling together as the prophecies of the hybrid would come to pass, so he planned to erase Clara's memories of him with a neural block. However, upon discovering this, Clara attempted to reverse the polarity of the neural block so it would affect the Doctor, something he doubted had worked when she told him. 
They agreed to activate the device together, not knowing which one of them would be affected, and it affected the doctor. Clara left in a stolen TARDIS with Ashilder to travel the universe before returning to Gallifrey and dying. TV. Hellbent.